Hello there, and welcome to my review of the book Robert Kappa, The Definitive Collection. Most of us, whether we know it or not, have seen some of Robert Kappa's iconic images, such as capturing the exact moment a soldier was shot during the Spanish Civil War. The idea for this humongous tome was devised by Cornell Kappa and Richard Whedon. Together they sorted through some 70,000 images in order to showcase Robert Kappa's work. The book consists of 937 images in chronological order that they felt best illustrated Kappa's work as a photographer in times of war and peace. The photographs spanned decades as well as many countries where conflicts were taking place. The book is published by Fiden in paperback form and consists of 578 pages. It measures at 25cm by 24.9cm. And as you can imagine, the book is extremely heavy and substantial, but I would consider this a positive. Kappa's portraits take up much of the book, and through these we're able to gain an understanding and empathy for the people suffering during these hard times. However, not all of the photographs are melancholy, and Kappa's work often seems to project a sense of spirit and resilience. Indeed, for me, Kappa had the ability to capture fleeting moments of pure emotion that still emanate from his photographs many years later. And despite the ugliness of war, it seems that Kappa was also able to portray the beauty as well. This example demonstrates how the photographs picked for this book to illustrate how Kappa was able to pick out characters from a faceless crowd and almost give the reader a sense of infiltrating the group. The photographs are printed on fairly decent white paper and the prints look crisp and the blacks well defined. The layout of the pages varies throughout the book, so to fit the photographs in within certain sections. I personally enjoy that the layout is like this, as I have found some photography book layouts to be too uniform. This book, however, keeps you interested, as each page seems different and your eyes are drawn to different places on the page. In summary, I feel that the book is an excellent addition to anyone's collection. However, here are some pros and cons for you to consider before you purchase. It helps to contextualise the photographs and gives us a better understanding of the political and emotional contributing factors to Kappa's work. It's just £17.99 on Amazon.co.uk and it's also accessible to people that want to discover Kappa's work as well as people more aware of him who want a collection of his work in one book. My only negative thought about this book is that considering the weight of the book and the size of it it might have benefited from a hardback cover. However, this is probably done to keep the cost down. I hope this review has helped you decide whether you want to buy this book or not. Please leave a comment and maybe a thumbs up. Thanks very much. Cheers then. Love you. Bye.